everyone so today I am going to be a ta doing a tag that Sweet Beauty X uploaded and it is the top 11 of 2011 and so what you do is you show your top 11 products of this year I can't believe that this year's went by so fast it seems like um, just yesterday Halloween was here and um, so it just really went by fast and I can't believe that 2012 is just right around the corner. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and get into this. Um, if you guys would like to do this tag, definitely do it and leave it as a video response and I will watch it. And um, I would really appreciate that. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this. Um, I will also have all the categories listed in the down bar. So the first category is face. Um, and my top two products um, for face first are... Um, first is this NYC Color Wheel Mosaic Face Powder in All Over Bronze Glow. It looks like this. And I absolutely love this stuff. Over the summer, this um, was used rigorously in my routine. Um, it just creates a really beautiful glow on your face. It isn't too overpowering. And it just makes your face have a really nice bronze glow. So, um, definitely um, one of my tops for this year. Next is a foundation. And it is the Revlon Photo Ready Makeup Foundation. And I am in the color Natural Beige. It looks like this. I know most of you guys have probably seen it. It has a pump. And um, this is pretty much all gone. I've used this... Um, I started using this probably back in March, and I used it all the way through, I would say at least until October, um, until when um, I use the pump, it will barely even come out. So that's when I finally switched, but um, I want to get some more of this because this is such a great foundation. It has such um, a wonderful uh, staying power, and it is also um, will cover any spots that you may have. It has a really, really good coverage, so if you're looking for a foundation that has a heavy, well, not I wouldn't say heavy coverage because it isn't like, um, you know, like really heavy on your face, but a foundation in which the coverage is really good, then definitely check this out. The next is for the eyes, and my top two products for the eyes first is a mascara. This is the Falsies, um Volume Express by Maybelline. I love this mascara. It is one of my all-time favorites. Um, for my lashes personally, it uh, volumizes them, curls them. That's what the wand looks like. It's just like a spoon. I absolutely love this mascara. It's my favorite mascara of all time. And I, um, after this is through, I will definitely be repurchasing, an repurchasing another one. The next thing that I have is a Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette. Um, little trio and this is in walking on eggshells and this is what it looks like it has a really nice um, creamy color for the brow bone um, a really beautiful light brown and then a pink this is absolutely perfect for just an everyday um, look it's very easy just swipe on the pink on the lid put some of the brown in the crease the cream on the highlight as a highlight and you're out the door so very very beautiful colors and this was like three dollars so very inexpensive and um, very great for a good quality eyeshadow next is lips and the first one is actually kind of boring, but I've used this um, the entire year, and I'm still continuing to use this. And it is just a lip balm, and it is from Avon. It is their Care Deeply Lip Balm with Aloe. Um, it just looks like this. I use this on a daily basis because my lips um, are very, get very chapped throughout the whole year, uh, especially during the winter, but even during the summer they get chapped, and so I carry this in my pocket or in my backpack and use this every single day. And then next I have a lip stain from NYC. It is their NYC Smooth Smooch Proof Lip Stain 16 Hour Wear, and this is in the color Champagne Stain. It just looks like this, and it kind of looks, looks like a little marker. I'll just do a swatch here for you guys. So this is the color. It's just a really, really pretty rosy, um, rosy champagne color. 
And, um, I will admit that you should use a lip balm over top of this because it does have sort of a drying effect to your lips. So, if you do choose to use this, apply lip balm with it as well. But overall, it's a really, really nice lip color and it does stay for a very, very long time. Uh, the next category is uh, nails. One of my favorite things. I love nail polish, you guys. I'm absolutely addicted to it. Um, and so this was the hardest category for me to choose because if you guys have seen my um, nail polish collection, you'll know that I have a whole lot of nail polish. And so it was really, really hard to pick two. Um, but these probably aren't even really my favorite because I have so many. I can't like really actually choose a favorite. So um, I just chose two that I really, really like, even though I like way more than just two. Um, but uh, I just chose um, For Audrey by China Glaze. And it looks like this. Just a really, really pretty um, sort of Tiffany blue. It has a little bit more green in it for it to be um, a Tiffany blue, but very, very beautiful color. And then the next is the color I have on my nails right now, and it is um, the Sally, Sally Hansen Insta Dry Fast Dry Nail Color in the color Magenta Motion. And it looks like this. Perfect, perfect color for the winter. And as you can see, that is what it looks like on the nail. And then on my ring now, I just have like a um, gold accent. So very beautiful. I love this color. Love it. Um, it's so like rich and deep. Then next is hair. The first thing that I have is an absolute love for me. This saved my hair. Um, when I um, when I went to, into college my freshman year, uh, I was so stressed out. My hair began to fall, fall out. My hair w began to thin. It was literally um, horrible. An absolute horrible, horrible, horrible experience for me. Um, I literally barely had any hair left. Like I'm not not even kidding you guys. That's how stressed I was. Um, and um, my aunt told me about something called henna and placenta. And at that point, I was willing to try anything because, like, it was bad, you guys. And um, so this is what it looks like. It is the Hask Henna and Placenta. And it is just like a, um, it says strengthens and repairs dry, brittle, lifeless hair. And it is just a conditioning treatment. And you guys, I swear by this stuff. It has helped my hair so much. Um, even before my freshman year, my hair was very, 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 very thin, very hard to grow. My hair will hardly ever grow at all. Um, very, very damaged. When I was like in the sixth grade, I, um, I got two or three perms, and after that, it just, has just went downhill. My hair has been damaged ever since then. But now, since I started using this, my hair has got thicker, my hair has grown, it doesn't fall out as much, and I just absolutely love this stuff. And it's just like a dollar something for a a pack of this and for my hair I can get like two or three uses out of one pack. Um, if you guys would like me to do a demo over this I definitely will because if you guys are having troubles with thin hair definitely go check this out you guys. I got this from Walmart and they also sell it at Sally's um, but literally this is a miracle worker. So if you want a more in-depth video over this definitely request it down below and I would love to tell you guys more about it. Um, so definitely really really great product. Um, next I have my shampoo here and this I use the Garnier for Teeth Length and Strength Fragile Hard to Grow Hair Lengthens Against Breakage and Split Ends. It looks like this. This stuff absolutely smells amazing. Really really fruity nice sweet scent. I love this stuff. Um, it creates a beautiful lather. Um, and then the last thing on the for the tag is a palette.